Just offshore, beyond the lush green land and sandy beaches, lies a world apart. Anglers pull large catches from both shore and boat, and many hideous aquatic insects are pulled from its depths with regularity, fetching a steep market price to be enjoyed by tourists and local alike. On any day when the winds are favorable, there will be ship and sail of every kind enjoying the waves. I am Sir Royce Claymore, and this is Narragansett Bay, Jewel of Rhode Island. From a distance, it appears to be some sort of puzzle of the gods, but in fact this is an oyster farm. Though once known for its reliance on coffee milk and organized crime, the ocean state now looks back to the sea for economic growth. These oysters are a delight, and each variety reflects the waters where they are grown. However, privateers are known to plunder these trades for ill-gotten delicacies, and farmers must constantly be prepared to row out and battle these pirates. Beyond the farm lies Rome Point. A favorite of hikers, the walk provides exquisite coastal scenery, culminating with the point itself. The nearby rocks are home to seals for much of the year, making Rome Point the perfect viewing spot. Residents hope to catch a glimpse of the king seal, largest of the beasts, who they believe bestows good fortune on those able to spy it. Moving in the other direction, we can see the Jamestown Verrazano Bridge off in the distance. The first bridge that spanned the bay was built in 1940. Before that, the people of Jamestown were mostly feral, subsisting primarily on deer as well as each other. The bridge brought civilization and peace to Jamestown, and now, no more than a handful of people are eaten every year on the island. Next to the bridge is a popular local landmark, the Plum Beach Lighthouse. Once vital to the safety of the bay, it became obsolete when the first bridge was constructed. It fell into disrepair for many years, until the wealthy denizens of Plum Beach raised money to secure it. It was refurbished and now serves as a prison for oyster poachers. As the sun sets upon Narragansett Bay, let us make our way back to the shoreline and say farewell. Thank you for watching Sir Royce Claymore Presents, and as always, I wish you good day and good travels.